the comedy American Pie, and now the whole gang is back to give you a second helping. This time they're together again for summer break after their first year of college. Here's a little taste. I can't believe I'm doing this summer abroad thing. Last thing I need is more classes. You're gonna have a great time. Can I help you? Kevin, that's my date. I could give you some pointers if you want. Really? Do you remember, was I, was I any good that, that night? Oh, wow. Jeez. How could I forget? You sucked. <laughs> Please welcome the hotties of American Pie 2, Mina Savari, Tara Reid, and Allison Hannigan. Ladies, okay, so you heard what, what we were talking about, about Chris Klein's character, who was so whipped over your character. What do you think? Am I crazy? I think you might be a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet. Yeah, no, I think But am I, am I not wrong that, that in so many movies, that, that just happens so, and, so often? Yeah, it was all movies. I think you guys can, cheat on the girl. I think you can sure. get used to and it. And in real life, almost all yeah. guys <laughs> cheat on the girl. <laughs> Is that your experience? Um, no comment on that one, but... <laughs> uh, I no. think there are guys like Chris Klein's character in this movie. And, I do. I have that hope. Yeah. Come there on, because if, if there's not that hope, then... It inspired me. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well just become a lesbian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? You know, yeah. then you're just going like, to stick to women. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was like back in the olden days. Like, you know, in the olden days, they had like those romantic, like, love stories, you know? And they would just like do anything for the girl. Like, they'd love the girl so much. And now it's like, you know, millennium, and they're like, ah, whatever. You never could drive yourself, you know? <laughs> well, so it was refreshing. Yes. Well, um, American Pie, the first one, was one of the highest grossing teen movies ever. In fact, one scene left a very indelible imprint in my mind, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I read that you guys all hated high school. Uh, Is that true? Yes. Yeah. yeah what, what, why did you hate it so much? It's a miserable experience, at least for me. I mean, first of all, you've got your hormones changing, like, rapidly. And then you've got everybody around you who I, I was pretty sure were, was, like, talking about me and, and, like, ooh, look at that zit, you know? I mean, it, it's just like, you, I felt like I was under this microscope and I didn't know who to be or, you know, everyone saying, well, grow up and da 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 And I'm extremely immature and I love that about me. <laughs> but in high school, I thought, oh, wow, it's time to be an adult. I can't be funny. I can't be, I have to be like this serious adult and it was miserable and uh and then luckily in my 20s i realized oh wait no i can as long as i pay my bills and i'm mature in now? that yeah. way well i mean i really didn't have such a good time um but <laughs> i you know i moved out to la when i was 15 so i didn't know anyone mm -hmm. and i went to two different high schools yeah. so it was tough and tara me. you said that you wouldn't would go back to high school for a billion dollars yeah is it that bad i hated high school it's just like kids are just mean like you know, when you get to be older and adult, you get more comfortable with yourself. But when you're just, when you're kids, like, if it's cool to hate someone, everyone's going to hate you. Yeah. You know, and, and it's just, kids are just, they're really mean. Like, I, when I have a kid one day, I feel so bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> when well, people say, like, being a teenager is the best years of your life, no way. It's horrifying. Yeah. It is pretty bad. Yeah, I just yeah think right? Everybody's <laughs> very insecure, and so they sort of lash out. And uh, whatever and the cool one to hate mm -hmm. at that moment is. Mm -hmm. They're gonna and that could all be, be so mean to other girls. But I tell you, after American Pie, all three of you just had the little hits going on here. And Mina, you did American Beauty. Yeah. Which was the Academy Award winning movie. So she was terrific mm -hmm. in that movie. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 At the time, and um, you know, American Beauty came out right after American Pie did, so it just. No, I mean, to stick with those um, American no, I mean, things. Yeah, yeah. Mean, movies that start American. with American. Anyone American? Yeah. American. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, you guys don't seem to have developed big egos, despite all the success. What about the guys from American Pie? This oh, time around. Extremely. Yeah. Oh, God. They they had 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 no going on to no the world. sequel, they had these entourages and <laughs> assistants everywhere. Of course, no one had any assistants. This actually, one, like everyone had them. Like, special <laughs> workout trailer. Yeah, Jason you know, actually just... did all his scenes green screen. He didn't want to do it with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, not true. No. They are the nicest guys yeah. ever. They're yeah. so sweet. They really all are. Of them. Tara, when you got the script for American Pie, I read somewhere that uh, someone people told you not to do it. Is that the true? The original one. 
The original one. Yeah, right? people told me not to do it because they thought it was a little risque, and a lot of people passed on it, a lot right? Of people. Like a lot of people that at the time were bigger than us, you know, like, you know, they saw working. the apple pie scene and they were, and they were like, oh. forget it, this movie's way too risky, you know, we're not doing it. And I thought it was funny, you know. <laughs> the casting director actually said he would get calls from managers saying, do not send this out to any of my clients. Wow. I wouldn't have them in yep. this if it was the last movie. Now they're like wow. firing all their managers. <laughs> yeah. down. Like, Why didn't you let me do it? <laughs> it was a big hit and you girls all agreed to do the sequel, correct? While you were doing that. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. when we did the first we one, attached, yeah, yeah we, oh, we're all attached to the sequel. To see how the first one would do in the uh-huh. Never was thinking one. there would be one. We never knew American Pie was yeah. going to be American no Pie. <laughs> yeah, at all. But were you worried, right. Manor, at all, for, oh, you know, by the fact that you had been great in the first one and now you had to live up to the second? Oh, sequels rarely are hits. I know. So Absolutely. were you worried about that, that? Yeah, I mean, there is that risky ground, but it wasn't, like, my job to really worry about it. And I was more excited to come back and see everyone because it had been such a long time and everybody had done so well and... You know, so I, I really I okay. tried not to worry about it. I thought it there's too much. ten of us that fails will probably be okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> One so. of us is bound to be in yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, we I thought probably it was hysterical. each other. <laughs> I loved it. And we're gonna keep you guys for another segment, okay? So right. so stick around. The women of American Pie Two, they're not going anywhere. They will be right back with us. Said visitors, because this one time, uh, uh, here, th this kid had these cookies. Let me guess, a bear came. Cool. It's like you know all our stories. Uh, was that a question? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. from American Pie 2, and we're back with Mina Savari, Allison Hannigan, and Tara Reed. Welcome back, everyone. Now, Allison, your character, I, they wrote this down for me, the flute-playing, band-camp-loving Michelle, <laughs> is one of the most bizarre characters you will see on film. Did you base her on anyone that you know, and can you disclose that name on TV? Well, not anybody that I could actually name without probably a lawsuit. But, um, <laughs> but no, I, I, whenever I meet somebody that's just a little odd and strange, I, definitely goes into the back of the head, and I'm like, that's going to be a character one day. She's like just a, a couple of raisins short of a fruitcake or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you did very well. well. So many people know you also from, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes. And I know that you met your man. Yes. on the set of Buffy, and he now works on, he plays the same character, yes. and he now works on Angel. Oh, there he do is. you miss working with him at the same show? I do, although while we were working together, he wouldn't date me, so we just, we had that flirtatious friendship. So now that he's on Angel, at least we can date and everything, but yeah, sometimes our schedules are, he'll be on nights and I'll be on days, but um, but I'm just glad to He have just him didn't want to date life. anyone at work. No, he, yeah, he had ethics. Whatever. All these honest men. Yeah. Couldn't Mina, you are the only one in the group who's actually married. And Mina got married oh. at 22. We were just talking about it because I did that and mine lasted a while. Maybe <laughs> yours will too. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we can hope. But I mean, you know, we were saying how nobody gets married at 22 anymore. It's like a very or unusual. Rebel. Yeah. So well, uh, tell us about that. I mean, how does it feel to be married in it's, Hollywood at 22? Well, it's great. I mean, I really feel like I'm not missing out on anything. You don't? And, no. Uh -huh. I'm completely happy, and he's my best friend. He's and, your best friend. Yeah, I get all mushy talking oh. about it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> husband is cinematographer Robert Brinkman, who is 17 years older than she is, right? Yes. So now, what about that? Um, I really don't feel like it's an issue. I it's not? Yeah, age is, what is age, you know? And, yeah. And I, it's also like, if, if I was older and we had that same age difference, it'd be okay. I mean, there's all these kind of things, but as long as there's love there, I mean, that's right. all that matters to Well, me. Lisa's mother, a guy who's... A 20 years or so younger than her came on to her the other day and she wouldn't go for it. Her <laughs> but see, that's I think the age difference is... only matters when you're listening to music. Like, I'll, I'll listen to Nirvana and I'm like, oh, I love this in high school. My boyfriend will be like, oh my God, I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not that much older than I am, but he's, you know, in college when the music yeah, is a thing. Yeah, that's right. And the movies. Well, we have Definitely. everything in common. Yeah, exactly. We never really have any kind of differences like that. Really? You no, both like no. the same Surprisingly movie. enough, I mean, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank I you hope very it all much. works out for you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys 
are all celebrities now, and there, there's a lot of plus to that, but there's also the negative of being in a fishbowl, and I know you've had to experience that, Tara, recently, and going through a breakup that's public. We all go through it. But yours, you have to see and read every day with Carson Daly, and I'm just wondering how you have managed to get through because it's not easy. It's hard. It's, yeah. I mean, I, I would lie to any of you guys to say it's not. It's hard enough to break up with someone on your own as not being in the limelight. And, um, you know, you read about it, it, it kind of, you can't even, not that you'd forget about it anyway, but then everyone else that's looking at you is saying, she's to go up to Carson, or she's mm -hmm. to, you know, you just hear it and it's kind of like, oh, leave me alone, you know? <laughs> Well, there so. is a line waiting for you, so just so you know. <laughs> You're 25 years old, smart, beautiful, talented. You'll be just fine. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's my basketball girlfriend over here. So now, American Pie 3? Oh, wow. <laughs> what well, do you I think? American Pie 3 would be sponsored by Viagra. <laughs> that would be a long time from now. Do it. That's, right. Right. That's what I said. Yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Though, that you're going to be sort of typecast always in this kind of teenish genre? I'm trying yeah. to get out of it. Yeah. Even though this we're, is college, do you ever worry about that? Well, a little bit, but you know, for me, I just kind of have that thing going on where I'm older, but I look younger, so as long as I can, you know, it's hard to kind of find really wonderful roles because a lot of it is, you know, when, you, when you're older, and, and yeah. so as long uh -huh. as I can kind of stay in the game and just keep choosing things that I like, and if I have to wait, you know, no work, like <laughs> 10 years, and maybe. But, but you hit you hit the jackpot with American mm -hmm. Beauty. That was yeah. really great. I mean, that was, cool. you know. That was really great. Yeah. yeah. And you guys you do all right yourself, Miss Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> we saw that too, all right? Here. <laughs> Want to wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, tell you we'll see you next time, okay? Come you back and visit it. with Thanks us. Thanks to Mina, to Tara, and to Allison. American Pie 2 opens today. We'll be right back. <laughs>